Pass fail or GPA, which dental school is better? Let's find out. A pass fail dental school typically involves two parts. The first is having pass or fail grades instead of letter grades. And the second is not having a class rank or class GPA. So I will say that some schools still have a way to rank you. Here's some examples of dental schools that are pass fail. And I'm actually a student at UNE and we need a 69.5% in order to pass any exam or class. I love the pass-fail system, and I'll tell you why I love the pass-fail system throughout this video, but first let's talk about the cons. The first major con of a pass-fail system is that it's really difficult to stand out when applying to residency programs or GPRs slash AEGDs, which makes sense. If you think about trying to apply to dental school without a GPA or a DAT score, it's gonna be way harder for you to stand out and compare yourself to other individuals fairly and accurately. So the same thing applies when applying to residency programs. The second con of going to a pass-fail school is that there's little reward for doing exceptionally well. Whether you get a 98% on an exam or a 70% on an exam, at the end of the day you both just get a pass. So that's not very fulfilling, especially if you're somebody who was motivated by grades. And bringing up residency programs again, if you're planning on applying to a residency program, then you might want to be able to distinguish yourself from a student who's getting 70% on everything and barely getting through dental school. Now many schools will attempt to combat this in a number of ways, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But first, let's talk about the pros of going to a pass-fail school. Now, I could think of a lot of pros of going to a pass-fail school, but let me tell you some of the ones that I think might apply universally to everybody. First, it eliminates competition. Since there's no class rank, you're not competing against your classmates to do well. So one person succeeding on an exam has no effect on you succeeding. Where a very common problem in GPA type schools is the level of competition. People try to stab each other in the back, withhold information that they learn because they want that edge to be able to rank higher than their classmates. So because it eliminates the competition, it makes it a much more supportive and collaborative environment. In my class, we have a Google Drive set up where we share resources, and we also have a group me that we're constantly updating each other, reminding people of, of announcements. We share notes, we make quizlets for each other, so that we're all learning the same material, we're all on the same team, we're just trying to get through dental school, we're trying to learn the information. A second major benefit of going to a pass-fail school is not having to stress about getting a few extra points on it every single exam. You can focus on studying to learn rather than studying to get the A, which can be a very big difference. So you don't really have to stay up all night long trying to cram for that A just to get an extra one or two more points. Instead, you learn the important things. And the third and final item in the pros column, why you going to a pass-fail school would be beneficial, is that it allows you to have a healthy life-work balance or life-school balance. You can easily join clubs, you can do intramural sports, you could start a YouTube channel, and you can do all of these activities and events without as much of a concern about your grades. Now, it might sound like I'm saying the pass-fail system is easy, it's not. After my first year of dental school, I calculated out how many hours per week I was doing schoolwork, and it came out to be 60 hours per week. Now that includes going to class, studying, taking exams, staying after hours for simulation clinic stuff, all of that stuff is included and totaled about 60 hours. But what I am saying is that even though I still put in a lot of work and effort, I still had a good experience. Now to save time, here's a table of the pros and cons list of a GPA school. It's essentially just the exact opposite of what I just said for the pass-fail schools. As a summary, if you choose to go to a GPA and class rank school, then you're gonna have probably some more stress, higher competition within your class, but you'll have an opportunity to enhance your resume and possibly look better on an application. I chose UNE not even realizing it was a pass-fail school. I didn't even know pass-fail schools existed, but now I love it. As I mentioned earlier, UNE requires a 69.5 in order to pass anything. Some of my classes require that you get a 69.5 on each exam, and some classes require an average of 69.5 over all of your exams. Now, since UNE does not have a class rank or GPA, what we have are called letters of commendation. What a letter of commendation is, is it's essentially an award that you can put in the awards section of your resume or of your application, but it's also going to be on your transcript as little asterisks next to your passing grade. In order to get a letter of commendation in any class, what you need to do is to typically get an 89.5% in the class as a whole, and you need to pass every clinical exam on your first attempt. Some classes have a higher expectation, but that's the general idea. These expectations and requirements are based on previous years and usually communicates that you're in about the top 10% of your class. Now, while I've loved being at UNE and being in a pass-fail school, I know that I have classmates that don't enjoy it, that really struggle. 
So for you, I think what you need is to look inside yourself and figure out what environment would you thrive in? What do you need in order to succeed academically and reach the goals that you have set for yourself? All right, that's all we've got for today, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.